Hi, this is Chong Kim, and we're going to do word search in Python. Let's take a look at the input. We have a grid of letters, and we're going to be looking for these list of words in the grid, uh, either going across, diagonal, or down. But we're also going to be looking for it um, if the word happens to snake around. Okay, so uh, let's begin. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is set this up so that uh, when we, after we write our buffer, the py file, it's going to go into the shell and run this script with the uh, input as the argument. Okay, so let's let's just print a simple hello. Make sure everything is working, and we see that hello is printed, so everything is working fine. Uh, let's see if we we're able to get the uh, argv, which is the uh, argument. We have to import a sys for this. And we see that it, it's a list and it's the second argument. Uh, this is zero base, so it is one. So if I do argv of one, that should give us the file name. And there it is, the input.txt. We're going to read this file in using open read and we're going to say with open as f and the reason why we're doing this is so that it this would automatically close the file uh, once it's out of scope so open uh, we open the file as f and we'll say f.read and we'll store it into a variable uh, well actually two variables uh, grid s and word s because we're going to split this on uh, the blank line because there are two parts uh, to the input one is the uh, the grid and the other one is the list of words so let's take a look and okay so we see that it's able to read it in properly so um, the next step is to uh, read in the, uh, the grid information so if I just split it on the new line, then I get a list of uh, lines. So I'm going to put this in a uh, list comprehension. And um, what I want to get eventually is the row column information. Well, I'm, I'm actually going to be, be, be turning this into a dictionary. So first I want the row column information uh, along with the character. So I need to have a list compilation that goes from the, um, for each line, for line in this. So this will uh, give me a line. Then for each line, um, actually I need to say uh, enumerate on this. So this way, along with the line, I also get the, the row number. And I need to do the same thing for the line. So uh, this time I'll get the column and the character in the line. So we should end up with a list of these things. Okay, so, so this looks fine. And the and we just want to turn this into a dictionary. So just by saying, uh, calling the function dict, um, this turns into a dictionary. And that we'll just store that to the grid. OK, so let's take a look at, make sure everything is, um, looks right. OK, so we see that it's a dictionary. And uh, the mapping looks like it's it's proper. It's pointing to a character, so you have a row column pointing to a character. Um, now we need to take a look at the list of words. So if I let's take a look at the words, so if I start with the the word part of the string, let's just start with that. Okay, so I want to turn that into a list 
of words by separating on the comma. Okay, this looks okay except that we need to strip out the white space and uppercase the word. So we're gonna we're gonna map this. Uh, we're gonna pass in a lambda here, and the argument is the word. So we are going to um, we're going to sh strip the word of all the white space, and we're going to convert it to uppercase. Okay. So let's see. All right. So we have uh, uh, everything. Everything looks good. The question mark here is the wildcard character. Um, okay. So. Uh, next thing we need to do is um, look for the mark. Uh, this will be a list of row and column positions where we found the word. So we need to um, let's just print out the mark there. We, we need to uh, go through each word. Actually, since this is only going to be used once, I could probably just uh, put this in the list comprehension. I don't think I need that variable. I'll just say mark equal to that. Okay, so we start off with the word. And for each word, uh, we're going to go through each of the row column positions, which happens to be in the keys. And for each of those, we're going to call search, we give it the grid, the row column, which is the current position, the word, and the path. Um, initially, the path is going to be empty. Path is where we keep track of where we've been. And, um, and if the whole word matches, then we're going to include that into a list. Uh, but we start off with an empty list. So, and we're going to store the path. So for now, let's just make a very simple version of uh, search. And the simple version is just going to uh, return the row and column position. Uh, we're just going to see if this uh, looks like it's working properly. So let's just see. OK, so we have all the row column positions, and it looks good. It's not in order because when we said keys to the uh, the grid, um, it's not necessarily in order, but it looks like it's all there. So let's write the function for search. So we're going to say if the, okay, the, the way the algorithm works is that we're going to start with the word and um, when, we f when we find a matching word, we're going to uh, chop off the first letter and keep on going until the, the word is empty. And when the word is empty, we know that the word match because it's all, um, because we reached the end. And then we just need to return the path. So if the word happens to be empty, then we just return the path. And for now, we'll just keep this as, uh, as this is. Let's just see if it compiles. Okay. And the next condition is what happens if it doesn't match or uh, something goes wrong. So there are things. Um, so what would cause this to, to terminate? Um, if the row column position uh, is out of bounds, so it's not in in the grid keys. Uh, another condition is if we've already been there, so if RC is in the path, or if the first letter of the word is not um, does not match the grid position. Or it's not a wildcard character. Okay, so these are the conditions where it would uh, fail, and so we'll just return an empty list. Okay, um, let's just see, see if it compiles, and it does. Okay. So the next condition is, um, so, so we found uh, that the letter matches, so we have to continue on, and we can continue on by. Um, 
going in all directions. So we can create a comprehension where um, we go from r from negative 1 to 1, and the column difference is going to go from negative 1 to 1. And we're also going to be doing a search. Um, we're not going to say path here like the way we did over here because uh, path is already used as a variable. So we'll just call it p. And we're going to recursively call it. Uh, we're going to continue on. Uh, the grid still remains the same. The uh, row column has changed. Uh, let me put this on a new line. The row column has changed because uh, the new position is going to be the row column plus r. Uh, that's the row. Uh, the new row and the new column is going to be this. Uh, the word, it's going to be a substring. We're going to chop off the first word so it'll continue from um, the first position. The first position uh, is it's, it's zero base, so this is really uh, we're chopping off the first letter. Then for the path, we're going to add the RC into the path. Okay, so this should get us. Um, the list. So I'll just say P over here and align this a little better. Okay, so let's take a look. Okay, so this looks fine. Uh, the next thing we need to do is just put into uh, um, we just need to print it print it out. So also using list uh, comprehension we can um, just go through this again. So um, for row and line in we, we do the same thing again. And then for column, we have the character in um, the line. And for now, let's just print out the character. So, okay, where's the line? Okay. Oh, um, Okay, uh, one of the things that I need to do here, oh, um, is that this actually needs to go inside because of what I'm going to be doing. Okay, I'm going to have a list comprehension inside of a list comprehension. Uh, let's just see what, uh, just say ch over here. Oh, okay, we need to close this so that enumerate is closed. Okay. All right, so so what we need to do first is to join the line with with a space. So uh, this returns a list, so I'm going to join it by with a space. Okay. And for this bigger list, the outer list, I'm going to join it uh, using carriage return. Okay, that looks good. And uh, right now we were just printing out the character, but we're going to uh, we're going to print the character if the um, if the row and column position is in the mark. Otherwise, put an else here. Otherwise, we'll put a dot. Okay, so. Uh, as you can see that rocks is going across and it snakes around and we have Ruby over here and it does the wildcard character so R C B Y is also caught because of the wildcard character so this has been Python um, we're searching Python